Hi, this is Daniel Russo, and I am the PM for the source code group under the create stage here at GitLab. And today I want to share with you the kickoff for our 13.2 release, which is planning to ship on July 22nd, 2020. So let's get right to it. The first couple of items that we're going to work on are a couple of items we started working on 13.1. We're going to work to get them across the line as part of 13.2. Uh, the first one of those is making merge ref diffs the default comparison mode. So as you know, we have this new view mode uh, called merge ref diff. Um, and this allows you to compare uh, the latest version and master. And this is very useful when you um, merge the target branch into your source branch. Currently, that you know can be a little messy. With this merge ref diff view, it's a lot clearer. And since that is the case, we want to make that the default comparison mode. Uh, so excited to bring you that. The second item we're going to work on is multi-line merge request comments. So this is one that I'm very excited about. And basically what this allows you to do is when you leave a comment on your diff, you can currently address it uh, on, on a single line. But a lot of times we want to address this comment to a whole block of code. Let's say if you want to address an entire function. Uh, and what this will allow you to do is select multiple lines in your diff and um, address the comment for multiple lines. So this is going to be very useful. The next thing we're going to work on is supporting selecting code owner sectioned on approval rules. So currently on approval rules, you can add either groups or users. Uh, as on 13.1, uh, we are providing the ability to create sections in your code owner's file. Uh, so, for example, if you create a section where the uh, specifically for the compliance team, as we have in this example, you're going to also be able to address this section in an approval rule. Uh, so, uh, somebody from that specific section could be the approver here. So, very useful, and we look forward to making code owners better every day. The next thing we're going to work on is renaming WIP merge requests. Um, so currently, uh, the merge requests that are not ready to be reviewed uh, use the term WIP, which stands for work in progress. Well, so we currently use that term elsewhere on GitLab. There's kind of a collision with the terminology first. And second, this is not a term that is um, self-explanatory for non-English users, for example. Uh, so we feel that a more appropriate term is that of draft. Uh, so in this release, we're going to work on uh, allowing you to either use WIP or draft uh, when you uh, have an MR that is a work in progress or a draft, and then we'll gradually uh, phase out the WIP terminology in favor of draft. But for the first iteration here, we want to um, basically introduce the term and allow you to use either one of those for draft MRs. The next thing that we're going to work on is showing the approve button on merge requests in core. So as we know, code review is an essential practice in software development. And um, a lot of times there's peer review of the code through via merge requests. And we use different signals to let our peers know that this is something that has been reviewed or is something that has been um, approved. Currently in core, this happens in kind of informal ways, sometimes with an emoji of thumbs up, sometimes with a comment. Uh, we've even seen some people have bots uh, that uh, have an automated comment with approval. So that's great, but we want to make this easier and we want to standardize it. Uh, so what we're doing is we are um, adding the approve button on merge requests as part of core. And we hope that this will standardize and give uh, everybody an easy way to signal to your peers that this is something that has been reviewed and approved. Uh, the next thing that we're going to work on is around um, code intelligence. So as part of 13.1, very exciting, we're introducing GitLab native code intelligence. Um, and that what this will allow you to do is uh, it will allow you to highlight your code and then go to the definition for a particular term that you have in your code. And what we're doing on the second iteration is we will introduce the ability to find references. So right now we can go to definition and we're adding the ability to find the number of references where a certain definition has been used in your code. So very excited to bring this one as well. The next feature that we're going to work on 
is adding an instance setting uh, so you can configure your default branch name for new repos. So currently when you create um, a repo in Git or GitLab, by default, the branch that is created is called master. So there's a couple of reasons why we wanna update that. First is that master is not an easily understood term for users that are new to Git um, or GitLab. And the second is that master references uh, master and slave terminology that is coming from legacy tools. And as you know, over time, we've worked to remove such terminology from, from GitLab, and we want to continue on doing so. So we're, this is the first uh, iteration. And then in the future, we hope to bring this configuration uh, to groups um, as well as uh, projects individually. Um, and then the very last thing that we're going to work on is uh, the ability to copy LFS objects when a repo is pushed mirrored. So uh, currently, you can mirror um, your project to another repo, right? When, when you push, uh, that mirror is triggered. Um, so branch uh, projects that are using LFS objects don't currently uh, have those LFS objects copied over when they push. So this feature will bring, basically bring parity in pool mirroring where we already pull those LFS objects. When you push, now those will be pushed as well. That's all we have for 13.2. We're excited to bring you these new features. As always, we welcome your feedback. Please feel free to reach out. Thank you.